Howdy folks, uh, welcome back to My World of Tanks Replays with our Mighty Jingles. Once again today we're in the Top 59 Chinese Tier 8 Premium Medium Tank, the good old moneymaker. And it's a standard battle on Ensk, Tier 8 game, Tier 8 tank, should be good for a laugh. Um, now this was a hard fought game, um, and it was a good game, two evenly matched teams, uh, but it was really frustrating at one point. Um, you'll see what I mean. So, here we go. Let's go hunting for kills. And check out this Type 59 here. Uh, how he survives this, I have no idea. But, you know, he's uh, he's doing alright. I don't know if they're hitting him, but nobody's penetrating him. Oh, there we go. Finally, somebody gets a penetrating hit on him. And he's lit up almost the entire enemy team. But <laughs> look at the map. Their arty is running for their life. And then finally, somebody kills him. Now. I don't think I hit that T-3485. Um, I clearly saw the shell destroy a railway carriage behind it. And yet, somebody hits him. Because the next time I come across him, he's on 60% health. And I saw which way he was going. Well, he saw me and he veered off. He took a left turn to get off the railway tracks. Which means he's probably down here somewhere. Now, if you're in a T-3485 in a Tier 8 game, you see a Type 59 barreling towards you like this. Well, yeah. You really don't have much of a chance. So, I've bounced two of his shots. Ram him, and the only damage I've taken so far is 62 ramming damage from colliding with that T-3485. There's Type 59 behind him, I dodge his first shot. And I'm just going to pull the camera back here so you can see what's going on. And pause it. So, how screwed is that Type 59? Y he's pretty screwed. I mean, you know, he's all alone over here. Got no backup. Two Type 59s coming for him. Possibly a VK 3001H at the back there. You can swoop around and start shooting him in the back as well. Yeah, you'd think so, wouldn't you? Watch this. Penetration. Okay. I've hit and penetrated him. Now, the other Type 59 over there, just keep, keep an eye on him. And we're angling, and I bounce a shot from him. And I hit him again. Now, this guy's playing intelligently. Um, I can't really fault this guy's performance. It's two to one. He, he knows he's probably going to die. Um, and I'm doing all I can to bounce shots from him by angling my armour against him. And he's not going to hang around on that corner waiting for the other fellow of the Type 59 to come round on his ass. So he charges me down. And it's just probably the smart thing to do. He could have either done that, or maybe uh, tried to duck around this building uh, and come around behind this fellow. Either way, he's trying to get himself in a position where he's not being shot at by two tanks at once. So I, I really can't fault this guy's performance. But this fellow really makes it easy for him. Watch this. Okay, now, now he bounces another shot, but two can play in that game. Okay, pause it again. Now, now this fella's screwed. There is no way on earth he is going to survive here. Uh, all I have to do is keep him facing me and this fella can kill him easily. Y you'd think so, wouldn't you? What's this? Just, what are you doing? Park on his ass. Park on his ass. Don't let him get... Now don't back up! Don't let him get... What are you doing? What? Do... Seriously? Dude! G... <laughs> All he had to do was sit on this guy's ass. And this guy would be dead already. Instead, he's allowed him to back up, turn around, get around a corner. And while we're still going to kill him, he's allowed this fella, instead of parking on his ass and putting shot after shot into his engine block where it's going to penetrate every time. He's allowed this fella to present his strongest armour to the two of us. He's, I mean, we're going to kill him anyway, but why make it hard? Just use, think, use your brain. 
that's what it's for. So I put one through his commander's uh, driver's periscope. Kill him anyway. So, you know, thanks for making it harder than it needed to be. Now, that Type 59 of theirs has two kills. And he's just killed a Lerva. And I think he was the one who killed our other Type 59 at the start. So, add pause. Now, 3001H, not the best armoured tier 6 medium tank in the world. In fact, one of the worst armoured tier 6 medium tanks in the world. Um, and he's not going to last long against a Hellcat and that Type 59. So, to the rescue. Now, I don't want that Hellcat shooting me on the flank, so we'll force him to back off. And then get some cover between us and him. And pause it here. So, here's the situation. This guy is going after that Hellcat, and he's going to take about a week to kill him. The 3001H is dead. Which leaves me and this Type 59. Uh, I have the advantage here. He's on 55%, I'm on 78%, and I'm about to get a shot off. We've just dinged up. Which bounces. <laughs> Okay, he gets a shot into me, but at that angle, my tracks eat it. Yeah, that's practically an auto bounce. Uh, the, the, the most he can hope to do is damage my tracks, shooting at that sort of angle at a Type 59. Uh, in fact, at just about anybody at that sort of angle. So, here we go. Enemy armor is damaged. Okay, he's on 39%, I'm on 78%. Uh, unless he starts angling intelligently, um, he's in trouble. And I am angled at just about the perfect... The, the, the perfect angle here to bounce shots that he fires in return. Notice this Type 59 still hasn't killed that bloody Hellcat. Okay, what we've got here is two Type 59 drivers who both know what they're doing. Um, we're both angled very, very well against each other. I still have the advantage, but now it's not going to be quite as easy. So, I'm going to try to get around, but no, no, I, no, that's not going to happen. So I need to get back. Okay. Tried to get around the uh, wreck of the Lerva so I could, you know, change the situation. Um, but quickly realised that he was going to be able to shoot me in the flank before I could elbow my way past the wreck here. So, got try to get back to the original position. Got my tracks blown off. However... I am in a very good position here. I'm angled, still angled very, very well against his uh, return fire. And I still haven't actually taken any damage from him. He's, he's just managed to damage my tracks on that side, blow my tracks off on that side. Our Type 59 over here still hasn't killed that Hellcat. I'm still the only one who's damaged it. So here we go. Looks like that one went right through. And... His shot, well, I'm not sure where it hit, actually. It looked like it bounced off the turret, but it bounced off something. And now he's down to 24%, and I'm still on 78%. haven't taken any damage since I ran across this fella, so he's probably starting to sweat. Meanwhile, Herpa Derp over here has finally managed to score a hit on the Hellcat. Let's go. Okay, I get my tracks back up, and now things are going to start to go very, very wrong. Now, here we go. Get another shot into this fella. He's now an 8% and he's probably cursing his gun. But then it all goes horribly, horribly wrong. Okay, he fires, he blows my tracks off and I swerve and end up in the worst possible position. He can now put shot after shot into my flank armour and he takes... He doesn't waste any opportunity to do so. And I get hammer-racked. So I use a repair kit on my Amarak, and now he's able to angle himself where my gun is likely to bounce, and there's not a thing I can do about it. We didn't even scratch One more hit and I'm dead. Come on, penetrate. Thank you. Yeah, no thanks to Herpaderp in the Type 59 over there, who took three weeks to kill a wounded Hellcat, and nearly died while doing it.
and then uh, eventually my tracks come back up. So that was uh, <laughs> that could have gone horribly, horribly wrong, and all because I mean it, I was I, I was on top of the situation, completely on top of the situation, and then one shot blows my tracks off, spins me round, and leaves me in the worst. In fact, the, the only way that position could have been worse was if my arse had been pointing towards that enemy tank. So, we were lucky to survive that one. That's gotta hurt. And there we go, we get a win. Good game though. Um, very well fought. Um, kind of close. Certainly up until the end. I mean, I wasn't watching too much of what the other fellas were doing, the two surviving heavies. Uh, the other Type 59, the tank destroyer, yeah, but uh, from my perspective, anyway, it was a, it was a hard-fought game. And, you know, uh, doubled 1,500 XP there, uh, and almost 80,000 credits. I've done better than that, the Type 59, but that's a, that's a pretty good game. Personal achievements? Yeah, well, not too bad. Kill 3, damage 2, but another steel wall. Hey, <laughs> 13 hits received. Um, uh, and it shouldn't have been nearly that much. I mean, these last four hits, and it was all because we got tracked at exactly the wrong time. Well, it was exactly the right time for that other fella. It, it nearly saved his ass. Um, but it was bad news for us. I mean, we, he'd fired shot after shot at us, and it was just bounce, 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 because because I knew how to angle my armor. Um, and that one shot blew my tracks off just when I didn't need it to <laughs> and left me completely exposed. Uh, luckily, eventually, this gun went through his frontal armor and finished him off, but whew, damn, that was close. 14% health left. One more hit, dead. So, Type 59, a uh, good game on Ensk. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the replay. Uh, take care on the battlefield, and I'll catch you next time.